It takes courage and resolve to speak out regarding the best interests of our children in difficult situations. Protecting the rights of children in the event of a crime being committed can be even more challenging. Enter the Cricket Center or the Child Resource Intervention Center Kids Empowerment Team. Cricket. It's a center where a multidisciplinary team of professionals unite for a common goal. And they just expanded their ability to reduce trauma here on Delmarva. And we would like to welcome Lauren Cooper. She is the executive director of the Cricket Center. Thank you for coming in and seeing us Thank today. You. For Wonderful. Me. Okay, so we touched on the fact that that this really is a, a big team effort. So can you tell us a little bit about all who are involved with the Cricket Center. Yeah. So the word that you used earlier, multidisciplinary, literally what that means is multiple disciplines working together um, when a child makes an outcry of abuse, whether it's physical abuse, sexual abuse, neglect, or they've witnessed some sort of violent event, domestic violence, or experienced trauma, um, we have a team made up of different agencies that come together for that child. So we work with different law enforcement agencies, Child Protective Services. We have medical staff on our team that conduct our forensic uh, nurse examinations. Um, we have victim advocates. We have trauma therapists as well. Um, and the reason for that is because in a community that doesn't have a child advocacy center, what happens is a child makes their initial outcry of abuse. So whether it's to a friend or a coach, guidance counselor, or trusted adult, mm -hmm. they're telling their story, okay? And then the authorities are alerted and then they have to tell their story again to a social worker who sees them at home or at school to make sure that they're safe. And then they're having to talk to a policeman or a detective with a gun and a badge in a uniform at a police station. And mm -hmm. we know as adults that when a child has to go to a police station, even though they may not be in trouble, what do their minds think, That's true. you know? So, um, and then they, you know, when the police officer detective interviews the child and they determine that maybe they need a medical examination, they then have to go to the hospital or their pediatrician. And then again, answer more questions about what happened to them. So the Child Advocacy Center, even though we are just a place, we're also a model. So we bring those agencies together so that the child only has to tell their story one time. And what we see is that that reduces the trauma long term because as you know, I mean, these children have not only experienced the worst thing possible, but then having to retell their story mm -hmm. over and over again, that, that's not good for case outcomes or the healing of a child. Yeah. So that's why we exist. That's why, that's yeah, why. Yeah, that's so why. So I understand you've opened a new office. We have, we just expanded our services to Pocomoke. So we've always been serving the Pocomoke community in the southern end of the county. Uh, but what we were seeing is that there was a lot of burden on the caregivers to get the child for services, critical, necessary services. Right. They had to take them to Berlin um, for you know the hospital or for a forensic interview at the center. So instead of them having to do that, we're now bringing the services to them in Pocomoke. So it's a really great thing for the community because now they're not only getting timely services, I mean, we're cutting down on our response time. We can meet a child at school or at their home, you know, within minutes now, if, if the call comes out of Pocomoke. All right, yeah. you have a big event coming up tomorrow. Sure yes. Tell us about the annual Walk for Kids. Yeah, so even though we work with government and state agencies and they make up a part of our team, the Child Advocacy Center is a nonprofit organization. So we do like to get active in the community with our fundraising efforts. We have our 11th annual Walk for Kids tomorrow that's on the boardwalk. We'll kick off at noon. Um, we'll do a half mile walk up and back to Fifth Street and back, and then afterwards we'll have some crafts, beach games for the kids, um, celebrate carefree childhoods in all the good things that our community does. So it's a really great event. You can be registered ahead of time online, or if you want to just show up and join us, that's great too. Always welcome. So, yeah. so what about the paint and the OC Art League? Yeah, so we've also partnered with um, the Ocean City Art League. They're going to be hosting a paint along activity for us. So that's also for kids as well as adults. Um, and that's on May 19th, it's a Sunday at 11 o'clock. And it'll be cool because um, each person will be able to take home their individually painted canvas. But more importantly, it's, it's for a really great worthy cause. Yeah. I mean, kids in our community that need the funds the most. So, sure, sure. Yeah. Lauren Cooper thank with you. the Cricket Center, thank you for coming in Thanks and telling so us much. about the exciting things happening.